On January 28th, 2019, the American Red Cross in the National Capital Region, with the support and involvement of generous sponsors and community partners, convened the first annual Disaster Preparedness Summit. So good morning again. On behalf of the American Red Cross of the National Capital Area, I want to thank you all for joining us at the first annual Disaster Preparedness uh, Summit. Um, we've had a overwhelming level of interest in this topic. In fact, uh, we had more than 950 people who wanted to be in this room. So I want to thank you all for coming this morning uh, and spending some time with us to talk about this very important topic. Our mission for this event is to assess the threats and the risks to this community, our region, and offer real world examples and information sharing from the organizations and government agencies that are here to talk about how to be better prepared for the unexpected. I think the area that we need to improve in is being prepared before these disasters occur. You know, as a resident and as a partner with many of you, it's just wonderful to see so many of you interested in what we can do together and what we can do individually to keep this community strong and ready, prepared. Thank you for showing up today and for caring about this subject matter. Local emergency management and disaster experts from the public and private sectors joined us as panelists to discuss the threats, risks, and hazards we face in the National Capital Region, our roles and responsibilities during a disaster, what it takes to be resilient in our region, and preparedness and response strategies. One of my key measures is who's going to take my phone call at 3 o'clock in the morning. And that's where Paul really scores highly because the Red Cross is consistently there 24-7, weekends, holidays. I know if I call, they're going to answer and they're going to do whatever we agree is the best course of action for that local event. We focus, on, I like to say, on the humans where we're very Maslowian. We're opening shelters, we're feeding folks, we're providing emotional support, uh, and we're beginning a recovery process. So that's our focus is working with our partners to make sure folks' basic needs are made. We started down that process of developing an emergency plan. We formed a committee with HR, and our, we have a safety uh, uh, staff, and, and where we felt that we were off and running in terms of being prepared. So you felt that you were off and running until I made well, you take that test? We, we took the Red Cross Ready Rating Test, and, and, and I felt we were running. It was more like a, a fast walk. And there's so many occasions where we turn our ballroom into a shelter in place for public as well. And sometimes we turn our hotels into a hospital. We could be an, an, you know, an option if the hospitals cannot take care of all the victims. Uh, during the London Westminster Bridge attack, we actually turned our hotel across the street from the bridge into a triage area. Our morning keynote featured the Deputy County Manager for Arlington, and the program concluded with American Red Cross Vice President for Operations and Logistics, asking those in attendance, what are we prepared to do? Events that manifest themselves, from my perspective, can be placed really in one of two large areas. The first is those events that we imagined, the ones that we prepared at a very detailed level for. In the second area, there are those incidents that we did not imagine. Those incidents that are so distinctly different from those that we have experienced that we could not have done adequate preparation. We could not have invested in the planning efforts or the development of capabilities. September 11th, 2001 was one such event. Attendees walked away with useful information from our panelists and speakers and left with a better sense of how to prepare themselves, their families, and their companies and organizations. Look, resilience has been a theme since the beginning of history. Since the beginning of time, people have been making decisions to prepare for events before they happen. Listen, Noah started building the ark before it started raining. I'm just saying, it seems that we are being struck by more disasters, more frequently, of greater magnitude, 
that are more costly. And you might say, prove it. So I will. In the 1980s, there was an average of three $1 billion or more disasters every year. By the 1990s, that had increased to five billion dollar disasters every year. Between 2010 and 2018, it was 12, one billion or more dollar disasters every year. What are we prepared to do to survive, to live, and to ensure that our communities and our nation and our world are here going forward? Because the threats and the risks are increasing. And we have to be equal to that increase. Not just in the way we respond immediately, but in the way we are prepared to survive those disasters. Join us in January 2020 for the second annual event when we will continue the conversation and work to better prepare this community for disasters of all kinds. From your American Red Cross in the National Capital Region, thank you.